Hey guys, Guy in here to talk about my new pistol, the Shadow Systems MR920 Elite. Before we get into it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about kind of what's been going on with me. Uh, I haven't been able to post as much as I'd like to recently, uh, due to, if you kind of notice a little bit in the studio, uh, I moved. Uh, yeah, me and my wife, uh, we just went and got uh, one of our first houses uh, in our new place and we've been spending uh, quite a bit of time fixing it and setting it up so I haven't had a lot of time to go out and make videos or film stuff uh, or at least plan videos with uh, like a legit theme. I've posted a couple videos of uh, some different stuff in here like stress shooting and stuff and just you know kind of spur of the moment stuff uh, kind of capturing whatever I'm doing at the time with whoever I'm with. Um, but I haven't had a time to dedicate just to a specific video to talk about a specific topic for you guys. So in an effort to try and get out and do that, I'm trying to take today uh, and put out a couple of videos for you guys. Um, a big thing with us executing this move, moving to a new neighborhood and everything, uh, it came with a lot of drama. So our first night moving in, we moved most of our stuff over to our house uh, and maybe 11 o'clock at night we ended up just passing on the couch because we spent all day moving and my wife wakes me up at like six in the morning when she was about to go to work and we find out both of our vehicles uh, that were in the front uh, in the front parking spaces both of them got broken into and they ended up stealing uh, my wife's gun she had a uh, Springfield Armory Hellcat uh, and that was a huge bummer. We had to do a whole police report and stuff. Uh, the guys ended up breaking into my vehicle too. Uh, luckily I didn't have any of my kit in there, but I did have uh, like some cry uniform stuff that they ended up taking, but they like threw on the street. So like I ended up getting some of that stuff back, some of the stuff we didn't get back, uh, and we still don't have her Hellcat back. So pretty much the same week I decided, hey, you know what? Let's go get another pistol for the house so that we can have it uh, around. Because, I mean, having an AR is great, but also having a pistol uh, on that nightstand or something somewhere easy to grab is uh, kind of really critical for a home defense weapon, especially for my wife because she does not like shooting the AR. But that inspired me to go out and get a pistol I've been looking at for a long minute, um, which is the Shadow Systems MR920. This one specifically is the Elite as the bronze barrel. Um, and it has some slide cuts in there uh, as well. Uh, I went down to Palomino State Armory, picked this up for about $1,000. Um, based off my first impressions, I knew that I wanted this gun. I knew I want, well, first off, I knew I wanted a Glock 19. Um, it didn't have to be a Glock 19, though. I wanted to do something similar along the lines. And when I saw this, it reminded me a lot of the Warrior Poet Society uh, gun that they have, which it's the same gun, it's just slightly different. Um, I didn't have the capabilities of going and getting their gun. Um, I would love to have one, but you know, I just don't have a sportsman's anywhere near me, and you know, it's really hard to go out and get them because they're always sold out, it seems like. Uh, but I guess the stars aligned when we went down to Palmetto. Uh, they had one of these, and I, uh, I was like, you know what? I've known about this gun for a while now. I really want it. I haven't been willing to fork out like the extra cash to be able to buy one. And I said, screw it. You know what? It's better to have something really nice and hopefully be able to keep it and not <laughs> let it get stolen uh, and, and have something really nice in the house than have, I don't know, six Glocks that I don't really like um, because they don't you know, fit everything I need. Maybe I have a Glock 19, but it's not an MOS mod, so I have to go get a new slide or I have to go get it milled. This specific firearm from Shadow Systems is great because it's already set up to be able to receive a bunch of different uh, optics. So right here, they already have an optic plate right here. You can pull that bad boy off and you should be able to mount straight into the slide uh, a variety of different optics. I don't know exactly all of them that are available. I know that there's a lot of them. I'm still in the market and I'm still looking for them. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what RMR I should get, go ahead and let me know because I'm definitely interested in trying to get some eventually. 
uh, and throwing something on there. But for the meantime, straight out of the box, it comes with awesome tritium night sights. So the front post sight uh, is nice and lit up. It has like this yellow ring around it and then it's tritium so it glows really nice at night. And then the back plate is completely blacked out so you don't have anything distracting you as you're presenting. And it's super easy to front, find your front sight post. So uh, it's hard to find it when you're staring directly into a studio light, <laughs> but it's not hard to find at all. Um, really, really fun gun to shoot. Uh, really nice looking. I mean, as you can tell just by looking at it, it has a bunch of slide cuts and stuff. A little detail that you might not notice just by looking at the camera is right at the front of the slide, it tapers in a couple of millimeters uh, and becomes like a little ledge that's really easy to grab to do your press checks or to rack the slide if you need to or whatnot. But I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of slide cuts and like just different serrations and stuff on these originally. But after buying a handgun that has them, they're super dope. And I recommend if you can get a slide that's badass like this, just go for it because it's super dope. <laughs> um, straight out of the box, it already comes with a spiral fluted barrel, polygonal uh, rifling on the inside, comes with a thread protector for your threads and it's suppressor and uh, compensator capable. I'm not really looking for a suppressor right now. I've shot pistols suppressed. I'm not a huge fan of them, uh, but I am interested in compensating. Uh, so if any of you guys have a, a good reference or a recommendation for a compensator for a nine millimeter Glock type pistol, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments or something. Let me know. I'm open to suggestions. and I'm definitely in the market for something like that. Uh, moving down, I guess, off of the uh, slide in the barrel, the frame, super dope. It comes uh, with a really good stippling job on it. It already has an undercut, already has those speed speed rails, I guess that's what people call them. The little place for your finger, your thumb to uh, push down on the frame. Um, it's nice and all. I use them a little bit, but I'm not really using my thumbs for pressure. Honestly, with my grip, I'm not like driving this freaking uh, muzzle down because it's really, really easy to shoot this gun, honestly. And it's a nine millimeter. It's not hard to get your sights back on target and shoot. But I'm sure people who are shooting a lot faster than me use uh, these for that purpose. Uh, and I'm sure that they're, they're probably going to be able to use it just as well as any other aftermarket stippling job that you might get. Something that's really dope with this as well is the back strap. You can change it out. A lot of pistols are doing this nowadays. Um, but they give you a nice little tool when... Uh, you buy the firearm, they give you a little tool so you can punch out the little rod that's in there, slide them out super quick. Uh, they also give you this flag flared magwell attachment. Uh, I'm experimenting with it because I've never used them before and it looks cool. I don't really like it as much as I thought I would. I might be taking it off here shortly. I don't like how it bunches my hands up right here on the grip. I mean, yes, it keeps my fingers high, but it also feels like it's cramping my fingers up there. Maybe I just need a little bit more space. Uh, and then printing. I mean, it adds a slight amount on each side to the overall width of the gun uh, and allows you to print a little bit more when you're wearing just a t-shirt and stuff. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible either. Um, Shadow Systems did a really good job at putting this thing together and making sure that it was going to be a product that people were going to be satisfied with and had ability to add on to it later on. And honestly, that was the biggest like selling point for me for this spe specific firearm was uh, how versatile it is in the ability to put different attachments, um, put different optics, you know, change out a bunch of different things on it. Um, that was one of the huge things that I really liked about it. Another giant reason why I also wanted to pick uh, Shadow Systems in particular is because uh, if you get in a, if you have to use your firearm in a self-defense situation and it goes under investigation, they have to detain or keep your firearm for the time being of that investigation. From what I'm told, Shadow Systems will send you uh, a firearm for free and you'll just have one uh, to be able to use if you need it and you won't be out of luck, you know spending $1,000 on a gun, and then if you have to use it in a life or death situation, and then you're just out of that gun, kind of sucks. Um, 
the fact that Shadow Systems is willing to do that is like a huge customer service thing and like taking care of their customers. And like, honestly, I'm not sponsored by them. I would love to be, I would love to work with them. Uh, but before that ever happens or anything, I'm just gonna openly always support them for uh, how good of a company, everything that I've seen from them, it looks great. And like, honestly, I'm two companies that I fully support, freaking Spade 7 Tactical and uh, Shadow Systems. You know, not affiliated with them at all, love their products though, and you know, if I can give them like the smallest population of freaking, what do I have, like 60 followers on YouTube? Uh, if those 60 people go to their website and they buy something, then at least I'm helping those companies out. So, you know, I guess I'm trying to do my part. <laughs> uh, pros about this gun. Uh, the overall design is great. They put a lot of thought into it. And from my understanding, Shadow Systems originally got in the game just uh, modding and creating aftermarket parts for Glocks. And then they decided one day, hey, we're pretty much building an entire Glock. Why don't we just build our own gun and then sell it? Uh, it kind of shows that they have the experience of little things that kind of add up to making a really great gun. Um, yeah, it shoots super nice. It's really, really easy to get on target and transition your targets. Um, I think I put about 1,000 rounds through this uh, particular firearm uh, on a variety of different targets. I shot, I was shooting targets out to f uh, from 50 onto a 20 inch steel target. Um, and I've never done that before. And I've never successfully done it before. And I was making hits with this gun. Now, I don't know if that's me. I don't know if that was the weapon. I don't know if it was just the day, but it was really cool being able to pick this gun up and being able to shoot. Uh, I think I shot three rounds. Uh, my third round impacted, and then I made like four more shots on target after that. Um, shooting like 25 and in, super, super easy to hit anything. Um, I was shooting a variety from 10 inch steel targets to uh, three inch uh, little circle steel targets and honestly just put that dot right where you want it pull the trigger solid trigger control and you're gonna hit those targets super easy and then just transition just like ride that recoil send it to the next target um, honestly I just got done shooting the M18 the new SIG that the Marine Corps has uh, and comparing it to this this is way better, uh, like trigger, being able to shoot, being able to transition to targets. It's just a much nicer gun. And I mean, it's way more, I don't actually I have no idea how much the M18 is, but uh, being like a duty capacity pistol, which I'm using this for, it's my concealed carry, my everyday carry. This is super dope, way better. And having t uh, the ability to compare it against two different pistols at the same time and shoot them pretty much back to back. Uh, it really highlighted how badass this pistol is uh, and the things that I do like about it. Uh, one of the big things that I do like about it is being able to adjust things later on. I am definitely going to get a weapon light and I'm definitely going to get an RMR eventually or some uh, red dot sight on this bad boy. Uh, and I want to experiment and see the different ways that I can grow with this weapon. Uh, but I also want to keep my, you know, my options open and go whatever direction I want to go with it. Uh, cons about this. So even though I did buy this out of my own money, bought this out of my own money because I needed a new firearm and I love this gun, but there are some little things that could be tweaked or little things that are just like my personal preference that might be better about this. Uh, and honestly, none of them are straight up like negatives or like cons. They're just preference. So uh, something I noticed was uh, if you weren't paying attention to this thread protector, it had a tendency to spin off. And for me, it being, it being my firearm, me paying attention, I understood. And maybe after a mag or two, I would just check it and be like, okay, it's still tight. If I handed this off to someone else and they weren't paying attention uh, and they really weren't paying attention and sending it through a bunch of rounds, it does have the potential of coming all the way off but there's like 10 rings in there that it would have to spin all the way around to come off. Uh, maybe a way to prevent that from uh, busting lease so easily is maybe getting like a, a really good O-ring that's like heat resistant and stuff, putting it in there. Maybe that would help, maybe it wouldn't. I probably wouldn't do Loctite or anything because you, 
it's just a thread protector. You want to be able to get this thing off. Um, but honestly, after a while, I was like, screw it. Took the thread protector off and just shot without it because I didn't want to shoot it and then it end up somewhere downrange and me be out of luck and just not have a thread protector anymore. Um, moving forward from there, the stippling is really great. Um, shooting with gloves, shooting without gloves, it really uh, bites into your hand and it's not uncomfortable. Uh, it's less aggressive than my Glock, one that I personally did, which is terrible, but I intentionally did that one super grippy so that it would dig into my gloves. This one is similar, but it's done much better um, and it's not super uncomfortable. However, when you're concealed carrying this and you just have a t-shirt over the top and you don't have anything underneath it, uh, it has a tendency to like rub against your skin and it's essentially just sandpaper. It's not terrible, but uh, it can be a little annoying. So what I've been doing normally is just wearing another shirt underneath, tucking it in, uh, putting my holster on, taking my outer garment, putting it over the pistol, um, which I mean, normally you should only do that. You should only have one barrier between you and your weapon. Uh, not a huge deal, but a little thing. It's just a comfort thing. Uh, and then the biggest complaint that I had about this was the mag release. So clear, but mag release. It's not bad. It works almost every single time, except when it doesn't. Um, it's a little, maybe it's just me. Maybe I need to break my grip down a little bit more. I mean, normally I have to break my grip down with uh, like Glock style uh, firearms to be able to manipulate the slide release. Um, to be able to manipulate that uh, mag catch. Uh, go ahead, boom, here it goes. Normally I have to break down my grip. I don't have to with this, just because the way the back trap's uh, assembled, I don't have to entirely break down my grip to be able to manipulate it. And maybe that's preventing me from being able to have enough pressure with my thumb to be able to ma manipulate that mag release. Um, maybe, I just had to keep training with it and, and adjust the way that I work with this firearm, or maybe I'll just adjust it and get a new one that's a little bit larger or a little bit easier to access, um, because I really don't want to be breaking my grip to be able to manipulate the controls. I can manipulate the slide release without breaking my grip at all, which is great, which is normally something I can't do, but I would like to be able to hit that mag release without having to break my grip as well. Um, that's just a feedback and preference thing for me. Otherwise, this, uh, this firearm has been great. It hasn't had any issues. The only single problem that I've had, which isn't the firearm's fault, it's my fault for having the cheapest ammo I can find, uh, was failure to extract and failure to seat all the way. Uh, and I completely blame that on the ammo I was using. It wasn't the firearm. Now, these, uh, these critical defense rounds that I use as my carry rounds, uh, I went through a box of these and had zero problems. Zero problems with them extracting or seeding. Uh, it wasn't an issue. So I guess shoot what you can for practice, but also don't shoot the absolute worst stuff that you can find because you're not going to have as good of a time and it's going to create more problems for you in the future. Um, I guess that's pretty much everything for the MR920. Uh, uh, I guess I'll name drop some people real quick. Uh, I went to Shepherd Tactical, picked up these uh, Kydex slash leather holster um, from them. It was a nice, cheap, easy thing to uh, uh, get. What I like about this is the back is a little bit more malleable than having a full Kydex holster. Um, and it doesn't feel like uncomfortable on your skin, especially since I carry appendix. Uh, it wasn't uncomfortable. Uh, if you're doing a bunch of concealed carry draw drills at the, at the range and you're shooting, I probably went through 400 rounds doing controlled pairs from uh, the concealed carry from appendix and resetting every single drill. Probably did about 400 rounds, just nonstop, just going through the, the drill. Um, and I could feel that the, the, the barrel heated up. I felt that the, the firearm heated up, but it was never uncomfortable for me um, being in this Holster. Now, rule of thumb is you should probably never be reholstering if you're in a a uh, active shooter situation. If anything, uh, you should have your firearm out 
whatever situation if you needed to uh, re freaking index your pistol into your holster this is a great holster uh, very affordable and very nice the only thing I would say about that is I did mod it a little bit I didn't like how the leather stuck up originally into the beaver tail so I just marked it cut it and now my hand fits perfectly right there without having to push the holster or this leather out of the way it just sits perfectly I can create my grip and pull no problem um, yeah, so if you guys are in the Beaufort, South Carolina area, definitely recommend going on to Shepherd Tactical. Uh, I'm not associated to them. I'm just really good friends with, well, I don't know if we're friends, but I like to say we're friends with Mike down there. He's a really good dude. Um, he's been helping me out, out a lot recently. So, uh, other than that, I don't think I have anything else for you. Um, if you check out my new my, mug. I uh, just recently became an ambassador for, uh, what is it, Ch -ch 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 National Concealed Carry Association. Um, this is one of their ambassador mugs, and then they also sent me a couple t-shirts and stuff. Um, hopefully in the future I can start doing product reviews for them uh, and checking out different stuff. Um, if you guys would like me to, to review a specific item or work on anything, uh, that you would specifically like just go ahead and put in the comments or shoot me a message or something and I'd be happy to do whatever you guys would want me to do um, I like doing this stuff you know it's kind of one of those hobbies that like is a stress dumper for me so like going to work doing my stuff every day can be stressful dealing with the house dealing with it, like family and stuff those create stressors in my life and coming over and playing with guns and playing with gear and shooting and stuff is uh is kind of my time where i can just kind of relax and like do my own thing so uh thanks for watching the video this far um thank you for supporting the channel uh, as always stay safe and thank you for your support